Hello friends, welcome to Cracked CSC. And in this series of database, today we are going to understand foreign key. So it is the third type of key. We have already understood what is candidate key, primary key, super key, and alternative key. The only thing which is left in keys is foreign key. So let's understand what is the definition of foreign key, how it works, and rest of the things as well. So first thing what we need to understand is that the foreign key is used to relate data between tables if there are two tables the relation between these two tables will be made through the foreign key that means foreign key will be used to relate the data between two tables the different two tables which has been used will be known as referenced relation or referencing relation that is reference table or referencing table so the foreign key is defined over two tables one is referenced other one is referencing referenced one is also known as parent table and referencing is also known as child table now i will let you understand what is the reference relation what is the referencing relation with the help of this example but before that let's try to understand the exact definition of foreign key so the foreign key states that it is a set of attributes references to primary key or alternative key of same or some other relation for example this is example if i say that this is a student id we are having two table student and enrolled in which student id student name age are the three attributes and in enrolled table student id course id and fee are the three attributes here you can understand this thing is that this is the id of all student this is the id of all student and this is the student id who enrolled some courses right so what you can see that this particular SID student ID is referring to this particular attribute of the student ID you can see one thing that this SID is a primary key or is a key this is a primary key why it is a primary key it is unique and having nonal values so it is a candidate key as well as a primary key so what is there the definition says that the set of attribute references to primary key or alternative key of same relation or some other relation so in this example we are talking about two different relation in the next example i will let you know how it works for the same relation so this is the student id it is referring to this student id what is the meaning that the ids which has been listed below this student id has to be taken from this it should not have any other ids which is not present here if if i take s6 here you can see that s6 is not available here so that is not allowed you got it so this particular table is the referencing or we can say child table and this one is referenced or parent how you can see that student id the list of the student id has been referenced in the student id of student table so this is referencing to this particular so this table has been referenced therefore it is known as reference table and this table is referencing to another table that's why it is known as referencing table so this is clear to you all right so this is the case for the other relations now the next example we will come to understand that how it works for the same relation for example i am having another table or relation with table name as employee 
three attribute as employee ID, employee name, and supervisor ID. This is supervisor ID. So let me fill some details over here. Let me take E1, E2, E3, E4, E5. So I'm just taking some of the IDs over here. Let's take any name, maybe A, B, B, A, D, E. Name can, can be repeated, right? So that's why I'm taking the repeated values. Now, the supervisor ID. Now you can understand one thing that the supervisor, who, whoever the supervisor of A or B or C will also be an employee of the company. So this supervisor ID will be referencing to this employee ID. For example, if I talk about A, A might not be having any supervisor. He might be having itself as a supervisor, he is a manager so that no one can supervise him. Right? B, B is supervised by E1. Right? Employee 2 is supervised by E1. Employee 3 is supervised by E1. Employee 4 is not supervised by anyone employee 5 by 2 and employee 6 by employee 5 so here you can see that the supervisor id is referencing to same relation this is referencing to same relation and the values of supervisor id cannot go beyond the ids listed below the employee id which means that supervisor id is a foreign key this is a foreign key references to primary key of same relation so this is a primary key that is of same relation so this way it works for same relation and this way it works for two different relation i hope it is clear to you now few more important things is few more important points i would like to share that each record of referenced relation so whatever the reference relation is can be referenced by many referencing record let me take example so i'm taking example that there is a relation r with a attribute a and few more attributes we need not to take them and a is having field values as 4 6 8 and 10, right now I'm having another relation as with attribute starting from B and so on having the field values as 4 4 4 6 and let us suppose that this is a foreign key which is referencing to this particular key let me take null over here so this is not a primary key this is a alternative key because in primary key null value is not allowed i am taking null here that means it is not a primary key it is an alternative key so now let's go back to the first point it says that each record of referenced relation so what is a reference relation here this relation this relation is a referenced relation and this one is a referencing relation all right because b is referring to the a so therefore it is referenced and this is the referencing relation now what first point says is that each record of reference relation which is a reference is this one can be referenced by many referencing record what does it mean you can see that the four this four has been referenced by this four as well this four as well and this four as well so it has been referenced by three records this is the same thing that it says right now what is the next point next point says that each record of referencing relation now we are talking about this relation can relate to at most one record so you can see that this particular record four is referencing to at most one record of reference relation Similarly, 4 is also referencing to 1 record. This 4 is also referencing to 1 record. This 6 is also referencing to 1 record. So, this is the meaning of 
these two points. I hope that the foreign key is clear to you. In case if you have any queries regarding to any of these topic or points, you can list that in comment section. I will I will so I will check all the comments and I will update you the uh, I will update your solution or the discussion over that comment only. So in the next video we will be learning about the referential key integrity constant or foreign key integrity constant with respect to the reference relation as well and reference relation as well. So thank you very much for watching. Please share these videos with your friends as well so that they can be help they can be helpful by you. Thank you for watching. Keep supporting. Keep learning. Have a great day ahead.